episode of Nozoska Outdoors TV. Today we are doing it the Lucky Taco Box unboxing. What Lucky Taco Box is, is a monthly subscription like you get for a magazine, only you get lures inside. And unlike the magazine that you probably won't read, this gives you lures that you can use. And some of these lures you may have never heard of. There's plenty on the last lucky taco box I had there was like almost all of them I knew nothing about but they give you a card in there which you will see next and also I will put the I will put the price is up in the corner of that lure every time we go past it so stay tuned so first thing you get is you get this really nice LTB uh, packaging it looks really good. I'm, I like LTV. <laughs> and always, right away, you get this LTV inside your box. And pretty much it tells you what they are and, well, what lures they are and how much they retail for and how to use them. So, let's get into the first lure. So, the first lure we get is this Biowa S Trout 5.5 inches. It looks really good, in my opinion. And, uh,. What you're supposed to do with this is just pair it up on a 7376 medium heavy rod with a fast action tip on 14 to 17 pound mono or fluorocarbon. And you can, uh, it's perfect for summer and fall when the bass start moving into coves to feed. So this will actually, I will use this bait probably come the next weekend or whenever I go out and fish again. Because this thing like a really beast. I might even try it in a pond. Hit still do good next what we got is the cast the castic jerky j five inch swim baits or soft baits they look like real fish oh they smell like real fish and oh they feel like a real fish even almost <laughs> These are a pretty uh, unique swim bait, I'm guessing. And what you do with these is you throw it on a six, on a six eight to seven medium action rod on eight to twelve pound mo mono or fluorocarbon. It is perf. It is perfect in the weedless presentation. I like to use weedless everything. It's really good because you can throw it pretty much close to weeds and cover and don't get hung up as often. It's really good for skipping around, uh, skipping underneath docks. In any man-made structure and then let it sink slowly and give it small pops so it's pretty much like a mini jerk bait only a soft plastic here's another shot of those they look really good next we got the lucky strike salty elite or a uh, sort of soft plastics it i got tubes they're extremely salty let's just pull one of these out for you guys oh they smell really good like fish Extremely salty. <laughs> Look at my fingers now. That's a lot of salt. It really doesn't tell you, but I would, uh, honestly, I would run this weedless. I would throw this weedless around pretty much where you would throw a Texas rig, only it's a tube instead. Or you can put it on a tube jig head and uh, work it that way. It really doesn't say that much for it. I'm not a pro. Next bait. Okay guys, next we have uh, the Mismo Doodle Worm 10 count. I've never heard of Mismo Bait Company, but that's what this whole box is about. You learn about new lures you've never heard of. Anyways, what this is, is it could be fished in a variety, a variety of ways. You can fish it. Texas rigged, wacky, Carolina, and even weightless. I would run this wacky and maybe you could try drop shotting with this, but these are really creative. They're super oily. They smell really oily too. They have some really nice flash to them. I got the I got the black and blue speckled one. You may get different ones, but it's all about trying them. Next, we have the Livingston Lures Spook, and if you don't know what Livingston is, that pretty much they, inside their spooks, they put a chip that 
mimics bait fish sounds like that's pretty unique if I if I'm if you ask me and pretty much it really doesn't it doesn't have it on here so I'm not sure how to do this really nice spook it seven to seven seven eight sounds it's a top water of course it's called the pro sizzle this is that's really unique there's sounds there's some sounds in those. Anyways, last lure. And the last lure we got is these Mustad Octopus Drop Shot Hooks. Mustad and Gamagatsu are both pretty good, so I will have to give these a try, but that is all the lures we got for, that we got in the box this month. Alright guys, that is all for today, and uh, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this Lucky Taco Box unboxing. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe for more. Go check out Lucky Taco Box. But anyways, all the links will be down in the description. Go check them all out if you're interested. Anyways, thanks for watching, and... Uh...